Hey everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, Taylor Cole Racing. For those who don't know me, I'm the owner and driver of Taylor Cole Racing. I've been racing for about 18 years. This is my 10th year on dirt already. And we've had this channel for about two to three years. It's already flown by. Um, it's really crazy. We've had a lot of fun filming uh, footage for this YouTube channel and of course racing and doing all the work to get there. Chloe was not able to be in the shop, so I set the camera up and did some filming myself. Follow along with us. I hope you guys enjoy the content. But Central Arizona Speedway has um, a race weekend the 16th, 17th, and 18th of November. I'm super excited. I'm going to be able to keep my stuff down there because my whole entire family still lives in Arizona while I'm out here in Iowa. And um, I'm going to tow down, do a practice night, see how the car shakes down at um, an Arizona track. Haven't been on one in um, probably almost two years. So it's been a while, but... Uh, I'm going to take you guys along with me for the next couple of weeks, just getting ready to go down to Arizona, getting the car ready, getting the trailer ready, stocking parts and whatnot. So I'll try to film as much as I can, but Santa went back home to Arizona already. I'm kind of riding solo from here and I'd like to let you guys see what I'm able to do at the shop and um, kind of what my procedures are. No, we have a lot of damage going on here. That's definitely fixable. I think, you know, I'm going to have to go through the front end again and straighten body and just obviously do our regular maintenance. I am trying to sell the old car. It's ready to go, really. It's kind of just sitting there waiting for someone. I have to wash tires next. Usually when we're done washing, we like to get the car up on jack stands and we like to take the tires off and go wash them in the wash bay. Just because the car stays in the shop all week or, you know, for however long until our next race is. And we usually keep it up on jack stands till then. I have a hub seal leaking on the right rear, so... Um... You, know, you can kind of see like all the oil in there so i put some cleaning compound to loosen it up and obviously i'm gonna have to fix that okay, the car's washed all the tires are washed i gotta go work my other job but everything's done can't wait to take these boots off they're hot because it's been warm out today put my vans back on but i'll be back tomorrow The front of the decking needed to be fixed a little bit. I just put a piece of sheet metal to patch it up and riveted it onto the main piece of sheet metal that was there just to make it more sturdy. Okay, I did hit the wall, so I have to take this right front off. I don't know, it was really stupid. You'll see in the Denison video, but I lost brakes a couple laps in and I um, kept racing. I needed to pull off, especially on a half mile but I guess I'm human and I made a mistake, but that's a just a really poor judgment. So now I have to do a little bit more work instead of just maintenance.
Usually when I take any right side impact or front end impact, the first two things I check are the center link and the lower control arm because those are the two that are likely to bend the easiest. So I took the lower off and when I checked it, it ended up being bent an inch and a half, which is a lot. Okay, now I'm gonna take this nose off. It is a little bit bent, uh, like just the sheet metal is bent from a couple of races ago. I didn't fix it because like it's kind of a pain in the butt to take the nose off and stuff and everything still looks decent. But I mean, if I have the time, then obviously I'm gonna straighten it. So I'm gonna take that off and um, get everything straightened out. I was trying to get this Allen bolt loose and I hit the wrench with the hammer and the the Allen wrench came out and it hit me in the head and it, it gushed blood everywhere, sorry, but it's all over the ground. <sighs> it didn't even hurt that bad, but it bled everywhere. It's uh, cold in here, the heaters are fired up. Head's doing good. I'm wearing no makeup. I had to work at 5 a.m. today. There's no way I'm getting ready for that. I can't remember if I filmed me draining the antifreeze out of the radiator in the block, but I did that, that's done. I did that last week before it was freezing because uh, my new temperatures were gonna drop a ton, but Knowing that it's only gonna get colder, I'm gonna start loading some stuff up for Arizona. Five days. So um, it came up really quick. I feel like my off season was only like two weeks long. Maybe it was. It was like four weeks long though. It was pretty long. Filled up to the brim, this trailer. It's actually really nice. I'm sweating because I've been loading all this stuff. Um, I got new tires. We're gonna need a lot for Arizona. They have some. A pretty dry abrasive tracks so I know we'll be using them up um, unfortunately they're really expensive but if we want to be competitive we have to have them I don't know where I'm gonna put a lot of this stuff oh. okay this is a 24 foot or 28 foot trailer I think it's 24 foot. It gets me to the racetrack and back. It holds everything I need. It brings my race car to where I need it. <laughs> it works perfectly fine. I'm hoping for a new trailer this winter. We'll see. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen before, but my dad built these ramp overs. They were already here, but he um, fixed them up and made them really nice. And I have storage under these, so that's where a lot of my spare parts are. Um, and then there's some cabinets in the front where I have a couple things.
bumpers on. Everything's just about back together. Uh, for the door, I did not find a strap that fit it, and I can't find my handsaw. That's usually what I use to cut my plastic straps with, and I can't find it, so I guess that's for another day. I am exhausted. I'm starving, but <laughs> got some more stuff done, and now I guess we're just about ready. Oh, this body is see better days. It still looks pretty good. I need something right in between these two sizes, so I got a long one and a saw. Let's hope this works. Hold bent. Before loading everything for Arizona, I went ahead and went through all the tires that we had that were mounted and not mounted, and I got rid of whatever we were not gonna use again. Dang dirt bike. I'm gonna say everything's loaded. start it because it doesn't have water and coolant in it so I'm just gonna push it to the trailer Before I had Santa's help last year, I was all by myself racing for two summers in Iowa. Um, I moved out here by myself so I can do more racing and that's just what I did. And I had to do what it took to go racing a couple times a week like I wanted to. So I loaded and unloaded and washed and maintained and fixed everything that needed to be done by myself. And this was the first time in a long time that I had been at the shop by myself and loaded, unloaded and washed everything. Okay. 
I'm just now leaving BHG. Uh, they're located in Ames, Iowa. They build my race car. It's a GRT by BHG. And uh, I had to take it in because I didn't have brakes last race and I couldn't figure out what the problem was. I'm actually sweating. We're in the middle of November and I'm sweating. And I had a meeting so I didn't catch all the um, work that they did, but I left it there and I just had to come back and lead them because no one else fits in my seat. And uh, Troy helped us out, he fixed it. I have brakes again, so ready to roll to Arizona. Thanks BHG, thanks to all the guys there for always taking care of us. Thanks for watching, see you guys.